All right, guys, it's JPG coming to you with a very special video. Not just a food review, not just eating with JPG, cooking with JPG, or gardening with JPG. This is adapting with JPG. Finding that restaurant that has found that way to adapt with the times and run with it. Where am I talking about? I'm talking about Brass Rail. Starting from just a small little bar, he's been able to expand not only a little bit, but a lot. He's gone from expanding not just left, but right and everywhere in between. He's even been able to open what's now known as the TBR market that's now flourishing and helping everybody out in our community during this time of need. in that video there, that's Scott Ellinger, the owner of Brass Rail. Now, he might have only opened this place in 2012, but he's been doing this for well over three decades. Now, the best part about why he has been doing what he's been doing for so long is he's been creating this craft to create Brass Rail for what it is. So I started working for Scott back in about 2013. The reason why his crab cakes, they are amazing. Now, I still don't know that recipe because it's pretty hidden in that place. But being a prep chef, I learned a ton of his other recipes and I'm not even joking. His food is to die for. And that is the reason why I started working there, just so I would not spend so much money there and I'm not even lying. Now, I did run into somebody that was leaving the market right before this video, and I did get to talk to them, and here's what they had to say. Here we are with Tim and Ethan, a couple people that have just came out of the market. I just wanted to meet with them and just see what they got to help support local. What'd you guys get? We got four fillets, some garlic mash, and a bottle of wine because it's my 45th birthday today. Happy birthday. So when it comes to one thing to pushing brands locally, what would you guys both recommend? Best restaurant because we live down the street. It's one of our favorite restaurants. It's one of our go-to places that we come here on the weekdays. So we wanted to make sure they stay alive throughout this, this time. And so we came out today to help support them. We usually do about once a week. What about you, Ethan? Uh, they have Thank you, Tim, and happy birthday. And Ethan, you're right. They do have amazing food. That's kind of why I still go back there and order. Speaking of, they are open for curbside takeout, and their market is open. And that is the point of this video. When it comes to adaptabilities, Scott Ellinger has not only opened his doors for takeout, but allowed his market that he's been working so hard for to flourish and help save this community. 
He is now creating a whole new brand that he is now being able to push. And that is because of you. Here I am once again with another couple that I ran straight into at the market, right in front of the brass rail. And all I wanted to say is thank you for supporting local. And what did we get today? Eight um, sirloins that you guys have on special today. Of course. Yeah. We love Scott. <laughs> Here at the brass rail. Yeah, that's what we do. Once again, from catering to goes. Even his family plans that he's now coming up with. Scott is adapting and creating all new ways for you to eat brass rail food. Now, we all would beg to go eat either at the table, go talk to your bartender, go talk to your server. We all know who you want to talk to right now. But we're not in those times where you can do that. Scott has now created an environment that he wants your opinions of what to put next in the market. Now, even on his website, you'll see that coming soon is the butcher shop as well. That's how important this means to him, us, and the whole community. So, like, share, comment this whole video, because without you, Brass Rail would not even be in existence. With another couple here at Brass Rail, uh, just wonderfully coming to support local. And so eat on our patio. <laughs> we don't need any silverware or anything? No. no. Good, Once you. again, they are open inside, so you can come in if you want social distancing. Want, um, but at the same time, what'd you guys order? Uh, hated chicken Philly and uh, grass nachos. I just said that you go to the restaurant you've always supported to keep yeah. them open for when they come back out. That's why we're here. Definitely. It's absolutely why we're here. Love the food. Plus, the food is very good. Love the food. Love the staff. We're here two, three times a week. Two, three times a week. I appreciate it. Editing, right? No, you can't. We all get editing, right? And of course, not everybody gets editing rights. You do have copyright infringements out there. But hey, we got to follow the rules. Now, just to remind everybody, Brass Rail is known for one very popular thing. And that is the Thanksgiving food drive. Now, I've been a part about it since day one. I remember doing the very first one, and I remember doing the last year. So I remember serving 1,000 people, and last year we served well over 10,000 families. My goal, and I know Scott's goal, is to make sure we get other restaurants to join as well. So between now and November, I would like everybody to start branching out to other restaurants to start pitching in for the Thanksgiving food drive and let's see how many people we can really support. Thank you for watching this video. Like and share if you like Brass Rail. And remember, this is all to support local because if we're not adapting and we're not supporting, places will die. Thank you again and see you later. This is JPG.